I decided I wanted to start collecting X-Men. I decided I wanted to start collecting Batman. Myers decided he was going to collect Star Wars. This git came in and just said, I'm just going to complete it. I'm Nathan Cruz and today we're taking a look inside of Callum, Kaz, Crash, my pal Callum, Kaz, <laughs> Kaz's toy room. So as I mentioned, this is another episode where we're going to visit somebody else's toy room now. Kaz has been one of my best friends for a long time and as I mentioned in the introduction he's also an avid toy collector you can also tell by this absolutely astonishingly cool <laughs> toy room that's got so much stuff in here tell us like how you got into toy collecting like what did you start with like what was the first thing you started collecting um the very first thing that I ever collected was that thing behind you up there the white tiger zord which I remember I texted you about when I got it because as it goes I actually got that for free. Yeah, you, you job that you was on, <laughs> yeah. right? I was on a job cleaning, uh, clearing somebody's house out, and that was in the wardrobe, the bottom of the wardrobe. Obviously, box maybe a little bit tattered, but all in there, all complete. And it pains <laughs> me that you don't have it on display. And it's in its box. I mean, I'm, I'm a punter for the boxes. Like as you know, I, I, I think with the collecting, like you and me. Very different to Lucas. We yeah, like to yeah. keep our stuff in the box. Lucas opens his stuff up and breaks my heart. With the Zords, I think there's an exception to be made because you don't really, you don't, you don't damage the packaging. Yeah. I, why do you keep these in the boxes? Is it I know where space you're coming from. Or just you like the look of them? Like, is it? I know where you're coming from when you say like, obviously, like having the Zords out of the boxes and like uh, displaying them and stuff. But the fact is, I've got that frigging many of them <laughs> that like. If, if I was to take them all out the boxes, it's like I just have more, I'd have more cardboard than I'd have anything else. Yeah, dust um, them is a nightmare. Yeah, well. plus that as well, it's like it keeps them obviously safe from dust and exit and stuff, so that's why I tend to keep mine in the boxes. Okay. So. so was Power Rangers like the first thing that you dove into or did you just start like grabbing it? No, literally Power Rangers was the first thing that I dove into. It was okay. like, it was my favourite thing when I was a kid. As Zords go, I, like like yourself being a massive Green Ranger mark, I was a massive White Ranger mark. The White Tiger Zord, sorry, was the only uh, Zord I had when I was a kid. So to find that, I was like, this is amazing. And just the nostalgia, the feeling, I felt like an eight year old on yeah, Christmas day I again. That. And that was what, that, just that feeling alone was why I started collecting toys. So okay. a lot of the toys that you'll see in this room, are either toys that I had when I was a child or toys that I really, really wanted when I was a kid. Yeah, so. I can completely, that's, that's what I can relate to. So like, after you, really dove into Power Rangers, like what was the next thing that you decided you was going to start collecting? Uh, after Power Rangers, it was mainly Batman. So yeah, you've got some, like, obviously the 97 Batman and Robin stuff. There's a few here that I'm eyeballing up. The aforementioned Batmobile that somebody gave away in a jumble sale. What? <laughs> no, you gave yours away Oh, in the no, no, sale. no, yeah. I thought you meant you got one in a jumble. Can you imagine no. the irony of that? I'm like, that goddamn jumble sale, and it was this guy that bought it all those years ago. Oh my god, that, what a story that could have made. We should have lied there. All right, so yeah, and then there's some stuff over here which I want to look at because there's like. There's a toy collection here, like Batman Ninjas, I've never even heard of. So yeah, the uh, the Batman Ninja stuff, It's uh, this is something I've only recently started collecting. Uh, it's only recently something I've uh, found out about. This one's actually made by uh, Hasbro, but when I first found them, I actually thought that it was uh, more of a Kenner product. Right. Reason being was because the Batmobile for this series is the Legends of Batman Batmobile, yeah. only it's glow-in-the-dark green. So it'll be because Hasbro bought. Kenner yeah, yeah. Out, so that'll be that <laughs> yeah. But, but yeah, I'd never even heard of these toys. Yeah, yeah. Got to your toy room just then. I was like, oh my god, what? Are these? They must be like the more modern ones. But yeah, you've got these, the Legends of the Dark Knight, which I've just mentioned that I've started getting into yeah, a yeah. bit more. Like the Legends of Batman ones, I like as well. They're a little smaller, but I mean, you've got yeah. this Ace Twin Pack, which I love, the Pirates. <laughs> With these again, just literally just some of that I picked up on eBay. I think I picked. The the flight pack Batman, I think that was the first one that I picked up on eBay and then literally just started collecting them as then. Batman is like one of my favourite superheroes, so much so that I've even got him like obviously tattooed on my yeah, arm yeah, and yeah. stuff like that. I mean, moving to this section, so this is, I, mean, I spoke about the metallic 10 inch ones, <laughs> yeah, you've yeah. got the, the Cyclops and then you've got some of these, you've got like obviously Venom Planet and the Symbiote stuff that I've got, but then I haven't found 
myself yet but the obviously the doppelganger when, when did you start diving into like the toy biz stuff the majority of this stuff spider-man stuff as you can see there i've got like the loose figures those are loose figures that i used to play with when i was a kid so like quite a lot of this stuff was like obviously again stuff that i actually wanted when i was younger like that's obviously where the interest into collecting like the spider-man and stuff came from yeah. i even remember when i was a kid the, the scorpion spider slayer i even had one of them god, god knows where they've ended up now so <laughs> the spider and the scarecrow yeah that? yeah like, the um... spider and the scarecrow so this was actually quite a lot of money this one this was nearly a hundred quid just for the, yeah just for this yeah. so yeah obviously it comes with like the scarecrow i it's an animated series spider-man but i can't ever remember this villain obviously chameleon i remember yeah, him yeah. but i can't ever remember this villain but yeah it's obviously like a five pack and i've only ever seen a handful of them go on ebay like you say scarecrow is 100 percent a batman villain yeah yeah and it's it, it looks exactly like the <laughs> no. villain version some of the 10 inch figures that you've got uh, i've just got a few of my own that are on the oh, what's that have you got two of these yeah i do i've got two spider-mans yeah yeah how come you have so why do you have to? And I probably had one gifted as I bought one at the same time. So yeah. do you still want to? No, there's no point in having two, really. Is there? <laughs> so. I mean, I don't mind the box of beat up, but I need Spider-Man on the collection, so I will happily buy this from you right now. Yeah, I need the ten-inch Spider-Man. I've got a ten-inch um, Venom and Carnage on the way, but like... right. Well, I'll tell you what, then, pal. I'll do you one better than that. It's your birthday just gone, so. There you oh, go, you need, can have it. Isn't he good and, <laughs> he good and I, was, I would happily have gave you some of that. Oh, thanks. So, that, no, no. That's no, mint. Yeah, like, which is your favourite out of the 10? Because, like, there's so many of these 10 inch ones that, like, catch my eye. I um, mean, my personal favourite that you have is Magneto because yeah. I like the evil movie. Out of all of them, character wise, same as you, Magneto. Yeah. But for the way that it looks, it has to be the Wolverine at the bottom. Oh god, I didn't even notice that. Like, <laughs> just for the way that the it Marvel looks. Marvel Universe's version, yeah. Yeah, yeah, just for the way that it looks, that Wolverine. This is sick, <laughs> honest to God. There's the Disney Venom that we both got each other. Yeah, yeah. I got Disney's you, gone. you got me. I've got the other Venom there. Yeah. I've got the original Venom. Gambit. Carnage, Gambit, Magneto. This Thanos, I absolutely love the original. Because they've got the Disney version from like the MCU. Yeah, you've yeah. have got here. But I love that original one, I think. Like, the, the selects are here, so Yeah, like so absolutely cool. fantastic toys. You got me this as well. The Captain America. I did, yeah. yeah. One of the toys that I've got down here is this. This was a Toy Biz toy. They took, obviously, Marvel characters, this one being the Punisher, and they transformed them into different types of weapons. So in this one, as you can see from there, the Punisher. So nasty. <laughs> as you can see, like, from the picture there, Punisher obviously transforms into, like, a handheld pistol. The re But the reason why this one is so special to me isn't just because it's the Punisher, Punisher being one of my favourite Marvel characters, is because this one actually got banned oh really this one got banned yeah so uh the reason it got banned was because the front of the pistol actually comes out from his crotch area so, oh no i've seen something <laughs> on that actually about, like, so, the yeah, as yeah, people yeah. as the kids were transforming it he just had this massive bone that came out <laughs> so, oh, that's great so yeah i ended up i actually paid quite a lot of money for this one i was just gonna because, say the box is immaculate yeah yeah well. like, so i uh, what year do you know what year these are? no i don't it's one thing i've never looked so, up on. i mean yeah yeah i'm just seeing it on the back now <laughs> i don't have one of these this my is Iron Man awesome. helmet. Right. So this was a gift from my mum about two or three Christmases ago. But it's all lights and sounds and stuff, but like it just doesn't have any batteries in it. Face plate comes off, it's all magnetic. So it literally just sticks back on. That's so <laughs> cool. Like that, that's, I really like that. As soon as I called in, I saw that, I was like, oh, that's... But yeah. That's <laughs> I, I, and with these statues as well, the Marvel ones, like I love the comic book feel at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Like, they're true to the original comic book. The original book art, comic book like, ones, yeah. I mean, it, it's, it's such a huge collection. I, I, and my eyes are constantly wandering. Is there anything in particular here that's like your favourite, or you have like particular favourites in here? Um, do you know what? I get it's that's you probably get it a lot as well with you having your toy room. It's the most common question I get asked. Yeah is what's your favourite thing or what's the most expensive thing in your toy room. Out of everything in here, probably have to say one of my favourite things, if not my favourite thing, 
would probably have to be my White Ranger helmet, just because that's pre Hasbro, pre Bandai. Yeah, same so, reason as yeah, mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, like, it's yeah. one of the custom ones that like that I had made. I'd, I'd have to agree. That's why the Green Ranger one's one of my favourites in my time. Yeah, right? yeah. Because like I know the the trouble it was to get one of them. Yeah, back then, like obviously they weren't mass produced like they are yeah, now. Yeah, you had to like find someone to make. Yeah, in yeah. Thailand, right? <laughs> okay. Well, Kaz, this has been amazing. Thank you so much for showing us around your toy room. Nah, mate, thanks for coming uh, and filming it. And in walks a wild Matt Myers. <laughs> 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 but yeah, thank you very much for showing us around. Thank you for this. You're a diamond, mate. Honestly, thank you so much nah, for that. No worries, Paul. I enjoyed looking at this and also was boiling my blood with envy. <laughs> <laughs> Catch us next time on Inside the Toy Room and I'll read out Kazi's will and testament and he leaves everything to me and Mike. <laughs> if you did like this episode, please give us a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell so you're notified every single time we upload a new episode of Inside the Toy Room. And uh, yeah, thanks once again. <laughs> Nah, nah. <laughs>